Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do 10 more things you might not know about EVE Online. If you haven't already, check me out on Twitch, links are in the description below. Let's go and get started. Number 1. There's a ship spin counter at the bottom of the screen when you're docked. All you have to do is spin your ship more than 10 times and the counter pops up. Number two, you can creep on your court members or your fleet members by going to the map, going to my information, and going to my court members or my fleet members. This will show locations of fleet members or court members who are online or logged off in space. Number three, there's a market quick bar where you can add anything you'd like to it. You can also group things in folders, so if you want to buy multiple things at the same time, you can use the buy all functions for anything. This is especially useful for ammo. Number four, there's a certificate for hull tanking elite that you can purchase on the market. Certificates for ships used to be tied to your account, but you can buy this one on the market now because it's pretty funny. Number five, there's a pointer window in the game so you can show people things that are on the UI. Go to the Neocom, go to utilities, and hit pointer window. You can select what you want, and then you can actually drag it to chat windows so people can click on it and it'll show them the pointer arrow. Number six, if you hit F11, a map browser will pop up. This shows you information about your local region, constellation, and the solar system. It also has a place on it for dscan information. Number seven, you can import fittings from Zkill or things like Pipa by going to export, EFT, control C, then going to your in-game fitting tool, going to the bottom here and going to import from clipboard and hit simulate fitting. Number eight, the tactical overlay has a ton of information and I plan on going through it in depth on a separate video. But for now, if you hover over your guns or anything with an optimal and a fall off, the inner ring that shows will show your optimal and the outer ring is your fall off. While if you zoom out, you can see a red dotted line that is your lock range. Number nine, there's actually a space north. If you look right above your capacitor, you'll see a little triangle and three ticks on 90 degree marks. This is north, west, south, and east. And on your tactical overlay, there's a golden line, which also lines up with space north. All ESS gates in Nullsec will line up with space north. However, from my testing, acceleration gates in Faction Warfare actually align with space west. And number 10, D-scan range is 14.3 AU because it's the maximum possible value for a 32-bit signed integer for back when Eve was a 32-bit game. Hope you do enjoy these short videos. If you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Go follow me on Twitch. Links are in the description below. Thanks and fly dangerous.